Hi there, me again. Uh, I thought I'd show you something that is coming very soon to uh, our schools across New South Wales, and that's the user logon experience. Uh, you've probably heard of it. Uh, we've got a bunch of schools, about 130 schools are already fully cut over to the first part of the user logon experience, which is called standardised logon. Uh, but the rest of all of the schools in New South Wales on the 17th of August will be cutting over all school staff. And uh, what this means is that uh, we're moving away from uh, various different logons that we used to have for all different things. So you would sign on as John.Smith to get onto the computer. You'd sign on as John.Smith at DeadNSW to get onto the proxy uh, internet connection, you'd sign on at, as your email address for different things, you'd sign on at debt, and there was just so much confusion. And what they're doing is uh, they're making it so everybody just uses their full email address for logging on to all sorts of things. So whether it's to get onto your department-owned computer, or whether it's to get onto your portal or different services, uh, your account name is going to be standardised. So it's uh, your full email address. So in my case, it's stuart.hasic at det.nsw.edu.au. And uh, that's all that I need to do. So that's what everybody is going to get from the 17th of August in, in our schools. But following on after that, uh, not hopefully not too long after that, we're bringing in streamlined logon, which some people might recall as being um, single sign-on. Now it's not single sign-on, it's not called single sign-on in our department because there will be a few uh, older services that don't support streamlined logon. Uh, so you will probably still need to sign on to those. But uh, yesterday I got cut over as one of the pilot users of streamlined logon. So I've been on standardized logon since last year sometime. Um, but uh, they've just cut me over to streamline logon. I'm one of uh, a few people who have this. And what I thought I'd do is show you uh, exactly what it does. So uh, here I am on my computer. I've signed on to my computer using my standardized logon, which is my email address as my username. And once I've come on, it takes me to my desktop. Um, but here is where uh, things change. So usually if I wanted to go to Internet Explorer, for example, which is you know my favorite browser, uh, I could go in there and what it would do is bring me to my department homepage as the main page, uh, as my homepage. But if I uh, want to log on to the portal by going to portal.det or clicking on it here, typically what it will do and what it will do for you right now at schools is uh, it will ask you for your username and password. But for me, it is going straight in to my staff portal. And I can go into different applications. I can go into my email. I can go into various applications through here. And I won't be prompted for the username to access that particular thing. So that's Internet Explorer. You know, that's my favorite browser. Let's put that away. Let's try it in Chrome. So here is Chrome loading up from, from start. And uh, it's going to take me again to my homepage. Plus, I've got some other tabs that I've pinned that I, that I use regularly. Um, but here I am in my uh, department homepage. And if I go to Staff Portal, again, it goes straight in. Um, for a while, schools haven't had to sign into the proxy because uh, we had single sign-on for that. Uh, so that is um, still happening. You might uh, recall from a previous video that I did that uh, this is running dark mode for the staff portal in Chrome, and that's because I have uh, this uh, particular extension up here called Dark Reader. Nice one if you don't like having bright um, backgrounds on your screen. So that's, um, that's Google Chrome. What about Chrome Edge? Chromium Edge, I should say or Edge Chromium. This is Microsoft's newest browser. So again, it will take you to the department homepage first. And if we go to login and go to staff portal, typically every single browser that you open uh, in the past, you would have to sign in to get to your portal. Well, now it lets you go straight in. And I can close my browser and I can reopen the browser and I can uh, go back to my portal. And again, it will take me straight in. So then that's all because I've logged on to Windows using my standardized logon. Okay, that's really good. There are some browsers that do not work. 
the old Microsoft Edge. Here we are, it takes me to this home page, but if I go to login and go to staff portal, oops, terribly sorry, I'm not a supported browser. So it um, will prompt you and you can put your credentials in and it will go in. Firefox is another one, exactly the same. So if I go to Firefox and go log in to my staff portal, it expects me to sign in. So anyway, that's, uh, that's something that's very interesting for what Streamline Logon is going to look like. It should uh, reduce quite dramatically the number of times that you have to sign in to different services on your computer every day. Uh, if I go back into uh, Edge Browser, Edge Chromium Browser in here, uh, you will see that um, I'm already signed in. It not, it's not going to time out because when the timeout usually comes in when I'm on a managed computer, it's simply going to authenticate me back in automatically. I don't have to, to go back into it either. And that's why it means that it's really important whenever you walk away from your computer that because that timeout's not there on your portal anymore, you need to lock that computer. So control, oh sorry, Windows L to lock your device before you walk away or simply um, shut down or log off the device altogether if it's a shared device. So uh, that's really important for you to know, but I hope that's been an interesting look at what Streamline Logon is going to look like. See you next time.